Let's whip around to a more civilized couple of cats, Roger Federer and Maureen Chilich. They will meet in the men's final at the All England Club for Wimbledon. After each man prevailed in the semifinals on Friday, Federer defeated Tomas Burdick in straight sets, 7-6, 7-6, 6-4. It's his 11th time in the men's final at Wimbledon. He's 35 years old, the oldest man to reach Wimbledon since 19, or to reach the final at Wimbledon, I should say, since 1974 when Ken Rosewall did so at the age of 39. He has not lost a single set, Federer, a single set in this tournament, which is quite remarkable. So what is more impressive at 35, the fact that Federer hasn't lost a set in this tournament or the fact that he's going to the final at age 35? Well, the bracket did open up a little bit. Right? Djokovic got hurt. Right. Andy Murray lost. Mm -hmm. That was going to be his major competition. Obviously, Nadal isn't what, what he once was. He could turn back the clock, you know, every so often, but he has a tough time staying healthy when he's on the floor. More impressive to me is he didn't lose one That's set. He was not only is he going to his 11th Wimbledon final, but he may be as dominating now as he ever was. And again, you make a good point that the bracket opened up with him with the biggest and most stiffest competition bowing out for various reasons. But, dude, you did not lose a set at age 35. These are still world-class tennis players, and he looks untouchable on the grass. More impressive at his age. What Federer is doing at the tennis landscape or what Brady is doing at the NFL level? Good question. Brady, about five years older. I'll say Brady because it is a team sport, which is harder. It's a contact sport, which you is more. You think a team sport's harder than Federer's out there by himself? He has no one to he pick up the slack. He has control over everything himself. Brady has to rely on an offensive line to block for him, a defense to help him out. And it's football versus tennis. The combat or the contact sport, I should say, more damaging to a body than tennis. I'm more impressed by Brady, but that takes nothing away from Federer. This is remarkable. This is sick. That's Chris, like it's like Brady going forty for forty in the Super Bowl, not losing, drop, not dropping one set. Is Federer one of the top ten athletes of all time? I think you have to have a very serious conversation about that. I mean, arguably the greatest men's tennis player of all time. So he's in that Wayne Gretzky, Michael Jordan, you know, Serena Williams. He's in that landscape. Jack Nicklaus. He's he's the greatest to ever do it. So you tell us. Where does he rank on your all-time greatest athletes, not just tennis players? Roger Federer could add another Wimbledon and Grand Slam title to his seal or to his trophy case at home.